that you are. Who you think winning him or those two? A whole heap of fucking trouble. A living legend in the world of strong. They got him hitting two different pads. Deadlift record and recently doubled the power of the ferocious Francis and Garnu at the UFC Performance Institute. Eddie's no stranger to the fight game either. He squared off against Hafthor Bjornsson in a 2022 boxing showdown. He proved he's a force to be reckoned with in any arena. Tonight's epic showdown is poised to be an unforgettable spectacle. 2v1, we are talking about real challenge. The dangers are real. Two people just constantly mauling me, throwing shots. That's almost double the pressure. The global anticipation for this fight has reached fever pitch. I don't, I don't think it's fair. No, nothing's gonna happen. If I catch one of them clean on the face, right those wells. 30 seconds and the big guy is down. Two broken bodies and one monster stood over them. It's the biggest <laughs> freak fight in the world. The cage is set. Don't blink. I already saw the clip. I did too, but I still want to watch it like I didn't see it. Oh, they're fighting in an auditorium. Deadlifting world record is crazy. Sports, we saw the boxing match, but this man has been training with the world champion Tom Aspinall, taking full advantage of the burgeoning MMA scene across the UK. But still, he's doing something tonight in his MMA debut that is completely unprecedented. There are very few questions left. God damn. You can catch the ropes if you want. Well, here we go, the main event of the first edition of the World Freak Fight League. Alex, this is what we have been waiting for all night. This is all a bit surreal, really. I'm not going to lie. I'm sat here like, okay, okay, this is happening. The Fatty Brothers... There's no way they the trained properly for this. What did they practice, the jumping the someone? They don't want to touch him. Rounds, I believe. Makes sense. Three rounds, three rounds of, of Pretty action, strong. And you can feel the tension. No shot has been thrown yet. We are 30 seconds in. It's but that first explosion, that first use of strength. Will we see it? When will we see it? And they've got to draw it out of him because cardio is going to be their weapon. Come on. The referee, there's two referees in the cage here again. More the referee's action. telling more action is what the fans are also wanting. But there is more to this fight. You've got to think about what you do from either side. <laughs> I mean, get some timed leg kicks off. They say, what a spectacle. I mean, Eddie is lunging towards them. And they're being very wise and cautious about the way that they're going to attack. But they have to pull the trigger. They've brought they everyone here. The shots have been thrown by Eddie Hall so far. And the fighters have been moving off. I wonder if the referee's going to stop it and have a word with him to actually... Do they have the exact same tattoos? You've got to encourage action. Timidity is against the rules. Usually, First shot leg kick. Leg kick. The <laughs> they didn't even move him. No I mean, talk of shit. He said, yeah, he kicked you. Look, they're talking now a little bit again. In fact, the Tins are Polish. I think it's fun about that fact, guys. My bad. They all got freak fights in USBs all the time. If you walk down a, the right street somewhere, you'll probably see one. Back is exposed and a big kick again from the twins. 
trying to land that leg kick. They did say it would be over in 30 seconds. Obviously, a different strategy has played out. We'll get back on 2K, DJ. I was just watching some videos. First round, which has been very uneventful. Yeah, all we've seen so far is two leg kicks really from the Nefati. There's been a whole lot more talk. That was round number one ended. Eddie Hall, unimpressed. You know, Eddie definitely came here for a fight. We put on a show for his fans. That first round, very, very... No, nah, you can't walk around talking shit. What is going on here? Yeah, like... I open up the crowd, and... but I'm very, very confused. Of course, we have to see something. This, of course, is... A MMA fight. There's an outside leg kicking. He ate that shit. Eddie Hall, and he was stepping into it as well. Of course, they're running away as they're striking, so you're not going to. I don't think either of them can the generate like and enough force to hurt him. Eddie to come forward, you know. Eddie's obviously got this strategy. He wants to put his back on the fence. Wait for them to. Not easily. And almost the Fuzzy Brothers. Maybe they're like sucker punch him. Them as they're cat and mouse, and, and no one's given up here. Yeah, it was very interesting. As soon as. Yeah, I saw the clip, DJ. Big statement, which I can't say on air, unfortunately. But he was like 80 percent punch is but it doesn't matter because we are going into it's like 50 percent yeah and you know from eddie's side it's so much more than most people now. would be able to handle I mean, that, that really doesn't seem like a anyone who isn't like his size well they're just terrified of getting slapped by the giant by the, the beast that's no that's there, that's you know? just don't i'm sure they're gonna have a talk about the strategy right now eddie of course technically he lost that round i mean he didn't do anything and they're not they but they did land two strikes yeah exactly that. So, he threw a few but they missed and here we go round number two between the nafati brothers and eddie hall yeah eddie just waiting for his moment here you know <laughs> he doesn't have much choice it'll be quite hard like i said to track down one of these guys but if he can get one of them to the ground can you imagine what would happen eddie does feel like a ticking time bomb right now when that shot is let off i wonder if he like, even could catch them when they oh it goes oh a big shot that's missed and eddie hall has changed his game plan and he's chased after one of them yeah i'm mean, kind of close on that right hand as well you saw the speed from the big man but eddie keeps calling him on and the fatties are, are calling him on someone's got to throw first and he checking his watch as the crowd get a little restless yeah, here. The crowd are getting a bit annoyed and frustrated as the main event so far has been minimal action in another leg kick lands. I think that one didn't look like that. Didn't look like it landed that one, but just maybe even look at it like this. Are the Nafati brothers going? But by doing absolutely, uh, I don't think it's their intention to. So I'm gonna say fight. And for this to be happening, but once you're in there, it's obviously. We have a lot of federations of freak fights. Are they good? They need to grab arms, spin in a circle, build momentum, and fling one of them at him. Me versus the homies. You have some tattoos, these. I have a I have a portrait of you on my left and right shoulder, guys. If you show timidity, that's, you have to fight. You have to be prepared to fight, and nothing action-wise is happening. Back in Japan. And then I was gonna get the old man version tatted on my scalp. Well, it might be needed for this fight. Eddie Hall runs after one, but then he has nice smooth surface. Eddie is ready to fight someone. He just can't fight anyone right now. Trying to use his peripheral he's vision. At, yeah, he's looking down at the camera. Oh! Looks like he's jumping them one on two. I don't know how. Yeah, obviously, with the amount that he weighs and the amount that the Nefatis weighs, he's never going to catch him. Probably not. You know, he's trying some tactics in there. It's quite tough. That's a check right there as well. That's pretty sneaky, that check from Eddie. Picked up that lead leg again. again. And, and this has but been surely the... Surely the Nefatis got a double down from that kick. They've got two humans in there. We need to see more action. You know, I would, I would like to see some coordinators tax at the same time. You know, but it's not always easy. The ref is having to run now, and Eddie doing whatever he can to try and track one of these guys down. And that is the end of the second round, right there. Massive booze here at King George's Hall, the home city of the Nefati Brothers. And this is a very 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 confusing fight. i mean like listen you, you you say this fight is gonna happen on paper look at him sprint away and he's trying to do what he can you know I mean, punch that his back obviously have terms of he just wanted to hit him this fight could have played out i get him trying to fight eddie hall when yeah when you are against the world's strongest man it's a completely different story and this is what it's feeling like right now there is they're not impressed the referees want to see more
I mean, yeah, they're throwing five strikes. Right behind the ref is crazy. Polish referee? Is that Eddie Hall? Yeah, that's him. We're in the one on two. The fuck is this? Him versus those two in MMA. All at the same time, freak fights. No, you said that to Jay. You gotta think of something else, bro. No, it's just a, it's a one on two. They've done this for two rounds. Only like three strikes have been thrown. And no hands have been thrown yet, really, Not by the, either the man. Punch has been landed actually in this fight. There has Yo. been kicks, but I don't think there has been a single punch landed. Thrown, but not landed. Let's see if, in the closing seconds, someone takes a chance. Eddie is clearly super frustrated. I mean, I think he signed up for a war, for a fight. And the fatties are trying to say the same thing. And now Eddie's standing in the middle. They're not taking advantage of that either. Eddie backs up again. Eddie Hall is unimpressed. He's really, really frustrated. But I'm thinking if you're Eddie Hall, you may, you may as well go for it now then. Like James, oh. he almost had one of them there. I mean, maybe turning it into a takedown might work for him. I think you just got to go for one. Diddy fight. Yeah, I mean, Very normal thing in the East of Europe. Third and final round. Oh, the speed that Eddie ran across the No game. way. God damn! Bro, he threw that dude in. He slept him. That man is getting the best sleep of his life. He said one punch was all he needed. Like a flash of lightning, that straight right came out down the middle and cleaned the clock of the Nefati brothers there. Not sure. He's, he's regained consciousness here, Cage Side. But anyway, one punch. KO. The power. And he fired that straight right hand. Accurate. I know he doesn't get just did. now it's a one-on-one -on -one and he fights this other guy No you know, I, I believe They couldn't beat him two-on-one on one. now he has to run the one-on-one -on -one after seeing his brother get slept Bro do for a take now he has to fight this man one-on-one -on -one now what do you think is going through his mind? He wants to quit so bad. He wants to quit so bad. That's him who just got thrown, right? No, that's not. That's not. He was about to get thrown. It's a car crash worth of trauma to the brain. Uh, body shut down. Eyes still open. Brain's like, what the fuck is that? Brain is like, what the fuck do you have me do, bro? I'm turning all this shit off. I'm turning all. Nah, bro, you gotta go to sleep, bro. Cause what the fuck you got me going through? Fight is not over. So unfair. Brain is gone. Brain is goop. Brain is pudding. With the power bomb, bro, just threw him. That straight right, dude. How much force and power is behind that? He's telling them, bro, call the police. I'm not fighting him. World Freak Fight League. That shit is on the cage for. Don't, don't look tough, bro. Don't look tough. Where is his brother? Probably in the fucking ambulance. Nah, is that him just standing up in the back? Look in the back, like the walkway towards the middle. Is that him? They don't even have him like out of the stage light. Concussed as fuck. Freshly concussed. This man is about to die. Please don't hurt me. Everyone in the crowd's about to. This is it's just execution. This is a live execution. 2024 guillotine. If he knocks 
knocks him out now, it's going to be crazy. And we're going. It's to going start. to be crazy. Here he comes out. One, one now is completely different. Eddie pushing the pace, trying to close the distance, stalking down his man. Oh, the jab sends him down. Is Eddie going to get on top? He's better get on his bicycle. This is incredible. I've seen nothing like this before. David Vance, oh, come on. Oh, Eddie's on top. Be all over. Oh, he needs to move. He cannot. Stop the fight. Don't even, don't just stop the fight. That is, that is the best case scenario. He's scared shitless. He was trying to survive in there. Get your, get shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, bro. He's so happy to be alive. You know, I think we all got what we wanted. It just took us a while to get there. I mean, come on now. What, what are you, what are you, he's fine. was absolutely crazy. The last of my brother said, you know what? I'm still coming for you, Eddie. I'm still coming for you. Nice finish by Eddie here. Good control, almost Brock Lesnar-like. You know, doesn't use a lot of distance to generate power. And let's face it, he didn't need a lot of power in that position. Celebrates after that. Body, brother. He tried to Grabbed his leg like, like his son. Eddie down showed him mercy. But great work from both men. He's it. He's better than a lot of people. The fight is all over. This bout ends in the final round. I can't tell who's who. The referee calls this contest. Who's the one who got knocked out? for me um i think their tactics was to try and wear me down which i wasn't falling for just plant my feet wait for one of them to come and, uh, and go for it but none of them came so i had to make it happen after that first ko of one of the brothers what was your thought process because to be honest that was one of the craziest knockouts we've seen in a long time yeah i mean we've done a lot of training a lot of you know scenarios of two on one that was one of them picking them up and sort of throwing him down and that leaves the other one wide open and the end of the day they're brothers and if you hurt one the other one's going to come running so uh, i knew i couldn't waste time on him i had to keep my, my eyes open and aware there was another person coming at me how much respect have you gained for these two obviously stepping up against you a man was the world's strongest man and they really did try and put on our show here tonight in blackburn massive respect you know even though it's two on one i think them both together i still outweigh them by like 25 30 kilos so Nothing but respect from me. They've got big bollocks. And what's next for you, Eddie? Is it going to be back here in the MMA cage? Will Freak finally be put on the craziest fights? What you want next? Well, I've been training MMA very hard for. I don't give a fuck what you got going on, bro. Where are we Well, there you go. Let me hear these fucking. In the Nafati brothers, guys. What, guys? Make some noise, please. Let's make some noise. What a spectacle. What a spectacle you put on in your hometown of Blackburn. It's been insane. The card was crazy from top to bottom. You guys must be proud of what you put on here tonight. Well, obviously. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. This is what we want to bring to, to this town like five times a year. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, obviously, our uh, uh, our um, we wanted to run around him so he could get tired and smash his legs, obviously, because he's too big to do anything around him right but obviously he got stuck next to their cage so what could we do obviously we could win the fight with those couple of kicks because we had the points but obviously those people came here to enjoy the show so we were like what are we doing the tattoos the like round? and we were like oh, okay no. let's, let's just do it the one on the right got knocked out I think a lot of the we all got fucked up in that that other that brother got slept with such a it was cardio for eddie Feeling the punches as well. This the one who was just talking to the one that got knocked out? Bro, it had to be really yeah, Eddie Hall got dropped. Because I can't remember shit. Yeah, that's okay. That's the one who got really knocked out. An MMA fighter now, a boxer now as well. Bro, it had to be really, really good because I can't remember shit. <laughs> well, listen, this has been an incredible event. What is next for you guys? Surely it's got to be another tag team match. 
Well, yeah, we would like to show our skills with someone of our size. With this giant, you can't do anything, to be honest. And that's why I was shouting to one drunk guy, like, come and do it yourself, you know. But then when he got knocked out, I was like, I need to, you know, have some revenge in here. That's why I went forward and no more running. That's it. Well, guys, can we please did. put your hands together for the guys behind the show? The she just asked that kind of back that we win. Thank you to Blackburn for coming out to King George's Hall for the first edition.